Sup, and good day, gamers. A formal bust here with of Orcs and Men, a first impression at the very least. But first, we have our sponsor, H2O, water, agua, drink it up or die. Oh, the quenchiest liquid there is, H2O. Now let's get into it. Of Orcs and Men was released back in October of 2012, developed by Cyanide Studio and Spiders, and uh, published by Cyanide Studio and Nacom. Nacom. Can't tell if that's an N or an M. Someone's horrible handwriting. Surely mine. It's described on Steam as... Its description on Steam is, You have been appointed to fulfill an extremely dangerous mission deep in enemy territory to kill one man. The Emperor himself lead the revolution of the orcs and goblins. It's tagged as RPG, action, fantasy, story rich, and single player. Retails on Steam for 14.99 United States dollars. Is the main menu. <laughs> Here we are. Got a new game. Load, which, yep, no save games, so that's not helpful. Uh, guide, which I guess is their way of tutorial. Steaks can make his way through cramped spaces and reach areas. Arcale can't get to. I'm not going to go through this thing, but it's here on the main menu if you want it. I'm sure the game tutorializes it in some way, and it's not just a guide on the main menu, I hope. Options. Let's see, we got controls y axis, normal, and inverted. Standard there, camera sensitivity, uh, keyboard controls, mouse controls, gamepad controls. So, looks like there is gamepad support. I have not tried this out. Sorry. Um, but yeah, um, everything rebindable except it looks like you probably can't rebind on the gamepad, which is somewhat standard in some games. Uh, game. We got difficulty. Which, I don't know why it won't let me change. Maybe it only lets you change in your saved games or whatever. Subtitles. Yes, we will have those. Control mode, keyboard and mouse, and gamepad. And I think, yep, that's that's all you got. Keyboard, mouse, gamepad. Audio. You got your master slider, effects, volume, music, dialogue, volume. The, 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 this menu system relies a lot on sliders, which is kind of annoying because it's just like, uh, there. There. Yeah, there's not... Not a lot of specificity to it, and it kind of jumps. You can't, like, fine-tune anything or see what numbers you're putting it on, but whatever. It is what it is. Video! This is it. <laughs> you got full screen and, uh, yeah, disabled or enabled. So it either runs in a window or full screen. No borderless window. Sorry. Resolution. Looks like there's plenty. Nice to see some ratio numbers next to the... Uh, Resolutions, that's always nice. So all the way up to 1920 by 1080, all the way down to probably something ridiculously low. Oh no, it actually only goes down to 1024 by 768. Okay. Shadows. Yep. <laughs> Shadows, SSAO, FXAA. Particles, which only go up to medium. I mean, for a 2012 game to have particle physics, bravo. Uh, texture quality and brightness slider with this little bar down here. It's not visible, barely visible, clearly visible. That's it. <laughs> That's it for the video. And then you got credits. So credits right there. I guess they roll credits if you want to look at that. That's all we're going to do. That's a very simple menu. So let's jump right into the gameplay. New game. Uh, yeah, medium. going to stick with medium. Apart from sticks, nobody has ever seen a goblin speak or even just show the slightest sign of intelligence. Ah, well. Good on the writers for making him speak. Try to use... Oh, didn't read it. War. Not exactly a new concept. At first, it was really about the coming of an empire. All the human kingdoms on the Isserian continent united under a single crown and a single religion. And in both cases, I can tell you they weren't just playing around. But the end result was there. The Emperor Damocles made humans his sword. It was when His Majesty decided he wanted to extend his influence to the southern lands that sparks began to fly. Because, well, the peoples of the south are beast-like green creatures eight feet high, all muscle and nerves, with a natural-born talent for war. So, it figures they resisted. 
Despite besieging their villages, and even though the Imperial Army was far better organized, the damned orcs fought back with savage rage, and their victories were the kind remembered for ages. But Damocles wasn't just gonna sit there and take it. Protecting their territory behind a giant wall, the Empire would never give up land, and its ruler wasn't planning on standing pat. With the construction of the wall, the scale of the war began to alarm the neighboring provinces. Faced with the green peril, the Empire saw the Elves and the Dwarves as potential allies. With their support, a quick victory over the Greenskins was a certainty, and peace could finally return to the Isserian continent. Afterwards, it just remained to be seen what kind of peace would await the vanquished. Over the decades of conflict, the orcs were already beginning to figure it out. They were much sought after for their strength and toughness, and so grinding slavery was always going to be the result. Submit or die. Needless to say, for a goblin like me, things were going to be just as bad. We were there to be had like rats in a trap. Yeah, it's not easy being a greenskin on this fucking continent. You got my sympathy if that's your case. Okay, a little bit of background. Sounds like we're the underdogs. Or under greenskins. Doesn't look bad for 2012, baby. Big ol' sword on, on that orc's back. Big ol' sword. Don't ask how it's attached. I'm sure it's... Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> See anything on patrol, butcher? No, nothing. No footprints. I climbed to the top of a hill to the northwest and saw the heath and their fucking wall to the north. It would make a good lookout point till nightfall. Excellent. The resistance found us a good place to camp to wait for what comes next. You, stand watch there. We'll change every three hours. Arkin wanted to see you, Butcher. He's probably somewhere around the falls. I'll go see him. Very good. Rest for an hour, then take a look around the eastern part. We'll have to stay on our toes now. Dissidents or not, it's tough to trust humans. Difficult to trust anybody. Understood. Cool, cool. Gotta find Arkin. Guess he's that way. <laughs> I came the other way. During the game, press F1 to open the menu and flip through the different pages or access the level map directly by pressing M and quest log by pressing J. Thank you, and to fill the tour if I want. I guess this is me, and that's where I'm headed. So close out of that. All right. Got a little lamp on me. Seems counterintuitive. Can I have... Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I just move right now. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. Pressing buttons, y'all. <laughs> Let's just move around for now. So, F1, I do want that. Okay, oh! Classic RPG shit. I got uh, Strength, which affects damage and striking force. Agility, which affects chance of critical hit and deflection. Stamina, which equals stability and life points. Mind, which is deflection and rage points. So, I guess damage reduction is based by armor then. And I got a bunch of HP, none of that red or orange stuff, so we'll find out what that is. Mmm, mmm, he's a... Mmm, Arca... Arc Ale, Arc Isle, mmm, thick boy, one thick old orc with a big old sword somehow attached to his back. All right, inventory, slicer. It's a slicer plus five damage. Cool. Uh, weapon, armor. Okay. Oh well, it's torso, arms, legs. Gladiator's Greaves. I get damage reduction. Stup okay, this is very RPG like. And trade points. Whatever the hell that would be. Okay, so skills, looks like I just have offensive stance, increases damage and allows Arcale to use Blood Jaws, most powerful attacks. Don't know who Blood Jaws are, but whatever. Alright. And Blood Jaws, oh, I guess us fighting is the 
Blood Jaws. Okay, so Arkail sticks merchant non playable character. Okay, and objective is over there. Who's Arkin? Quest log. The mission. All right. Very simple RPG. Like to see it. Oh man, that's that's space that I keep hitting, which is not. Can I? Oh, invisible walls. All right. So we got invisible walls. Very much go this way RPG, not a explore RPG. But I mean, really, y'all, this does not look too bad. Oh, quick save there. That's cool. Oh my god, Arkin's a Chad. Although, all these orcs so far are chads, so... Oh, man! There you are. So, how do you Great feel? Great got. Nervous, impatient. I'd really like to know why we were brought here. Something big. It's just the worst of us in this one. Even the Chief's gonna get his hands dirty. Jarhill? Really? We gonna kill the Emperor, or what? Ha! Why not? That wouldn't hurt us a bit. Ooh, you do get okay. Another uh, him or another Quars doesn't change much. We still have human allies, Arkai. It's not over yet. Apparently, in the time of his father, life was really different from one province on the continent to the next. And it doesn't matter how hard they try; they'll have a tough time finding worse than the Emperor who gave us the Inquisition, massacred our clans, and enslaved our brothers for decades. Rather true. And the throne would be empty the whole time. We could enjoy that. Ha! Huh. Come back down to Earth. You don't send out a blood jaw raiding party to go on parade. But there are limits, you know. With or without allies among the Quarsan, four of us ain't gonna pull off what our armies couldn't do when we were at our strongest. All of this reeks of a last stand or a suicide mission. Hey, show some guts, blood jaw. Confront him. Come on, defend yourself. It'll do you good. I love his sword. Completely ridiculous, but amazing. My slicer. Okay. Attack it's me. You press to switch to the attack it's me. Attack it's me. Slows down the action and lets you select skills you want to use. So. Select the orders you want your character to execute, and you can stack up to four orders in succession for each character you control. Okay, add, and I can cancel. So, very much, I can fast attack, powerful blow, faint. Uh, no, okay. Let's just do, see what this does. So, turn based RPG. We're just gonna enemy parry and enemy dodge. Let's do heavy attacks then. Oh! Oh, wind berserk. That's what the red meter does. Archon inflicts a lot of damage, but is uncontrollable until the rage gauge is completely empty. Blind with rage, the orcs ignore defense and may even attack his allies. Okay. So I'm just raging right now, which is great. <laughs> awesome. Until I, yeah. Shit, Arkai, relax. You get angry way too fast. <laughs> you gotta learn to control that rage of yours, brother. Nobody wants to see you losing control, you know. You think nothing can stop you, but you lower your guard completely, not to mention the time it takes you to come back down after. I could have killed you several times over. No shit, I noticed. But each time I get hit, I'm back in Bay Harbor again. And I go mental. One more reason not to get hit, and not to keep trying with a technique that isn't working. I told you to defend yourself, and you went straight to the attack. <laughs> Instead of going on the defensive when I'm talking to you as a friend, do it while you're fighting. You not only get hit less than when you're in an attacking stance, you also control your rage better, and that gives you the time to study your opponents. 
Come on, let's try again. Only this time you parry my attacks in a defensive stance. Thanks, Arkin. I appreciate your advice and what you're trying to do. But what I really need is some way to blow off steam, not a fucking combat lesson. Help! Help me! I'm being followed. I have a message from Lord Barryman for the Blood Jaws. What's it about? And where'd you come from? Huh. Three men versus two orcs? Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you, Mother Earth. You have what you wanted, Berserker. They're all yours. I'll get this messenger somewhere safe. Safe from your murderous rage. Alright. <laughs> Three versus one. Fair fight. Slicer. Select stance. Scroll through the tactics menu wheels to access different stances available for your character. Each stance has a specific bonus and a range of specific skills. Select the appropriate stance for the situation. Marco's target is designated designated by a red circle. His companions by a blue circle. Select your target using the mouse key or the Q and E key before using a skill. So let's go. Oh, that's special. That's defensive where I have stunning punch, damage, heavy. Okay, that's a heavy attack. Quick attack. Rage release. Oh. So that gets rid of my rage. All right. Let's see what that does. Oh, I can stun characters in this in this. More hits and he'll probably be down. This is actually not too bad of a Ah no. Okay. Ah Dodging Swine. You're right. A real killing machine. I thought you were a legend. Shut it, human. Go see our chief in the tent. He was expecting you this evening. I know I'm not telling you anything new, Arkai, but be real careful with that. You've got to control your rage. You can't control me. Okay, shut the fuck up, all right? I'll catch up with you. <laughs> control that rage. All right, I fucking got it. Being here today is the greatest honor an orc can hope to receive. You are here for the most important mission in your life, and perhaps in the history of our people. This war has gone on too long, and our enemy is more powerful than ever. But Mother Earth has not abandoned us. We have allies. For a while now, We've been preparing our counterattack with their support, but events are speeding up, and fate has turned against them. We have to move fast, now! It's time to put an end to the genocide that's been ravaging our people for decades. An end to this campaign of hate waged against us by the other peoples. My brothers, we must strike our enemy's head. Today, we are setting off to kill the Emperor! 
It will be a long and arduous journey. Each of you will receive specific instructions. Needless to say, these instructions, just as your entire mission, must remain entirely secret. You're in enemy territory. Trust no one. Ha! You said something about a suicide mission? <laughs> it's worth a shot. Butcher! We'll start with you. Follow me! The rest of you wait outside. Orcs make the best spies, right? Right. Archive. You go to the wall. A guide will be waiting for you near the east entrance. His name is Styx. He will guide you to the mire in the lower floors of the Inquisition's tower, where you will contact the resistance. Do nothing that might endanger them. They'll find you. Don't look for them openly or talk about your mission with anyone else. The mire is teeming with traitors. You have been warned. The Resistance will help you find High Mage Arkens, who's being held in the tower. The first part of your mission involves freeing her from the Inquisition. This is critical, Bloodjaw. Arkens will then help you reach the Island of Laments, your final destination, where your only task will be to kill the Emperor at all costs. Questions? Archive? That was the first time I've heard you say my name, Jarhill. What's up with you? That's true, Bloodjaw. It's a mission for the Butcher of Bay Harbor. But if I don't call you by your real name today, I doubt I ever will. So, basically, I cross the wall, get to the mire, where hopefully the Resistance will contact me, then I free this Arkent from the Inquisition, go off with her to the Island of Laments, and kill the Emperor? Everything's clear. Had easier jobs, but what the hell. <laughs> and you know things always get complicated when you're in the field, Bloodjaw. If you're ready, go now. You should be able to reach the wall during the night. Good luck. I'm ready. Perfect. Now I just have to get to the entrance of Shantytown and find Steaks near the east entrance. Easy enough, right? The Butcher of Bay Harbor. Bunch of assholes. They made sure they didn't tell me who I was dealing with. Hm. They just gave me a name. Archie. As if they'd even used it since that fucking battle. No point in wondering what the world would be like today if I'd had any freaking clue what was going on. I would have said no. First thing, no fucking way. But to be honest, I already knew it wasn't gonna be a walk in the park. The Blood Jaws never screw around. Cold as death and twice as savage. Fucking terrifying. But I was blinded by the smell of money, okay? I was gonna be really well paid just to play the guide and get the killing machine to the other side of the wall. And if everything went well, as a bonus, piles of those pale guys were gonna get killed. No kidding. Who could turn down a sweet deal like that? When you get a bit lost, check your quest log. Steeks regularly writes down what you still have to do. Oh, Steeks can not just speak, but also write. Hey, there's the wall. Not too big.
Hey, take it easy. I'm the guy. Okay. Glad it was easy hooking up. On the other hand, it's gonna be a little bit trickier than I thought. The Inquisition is around. The doors are closed and there's a curfew. They're not letting anything or anybody through. It's a real mess. What do you have in mind? Well, I figured we'd knock on the main door and say, Hi there, my friend and I are here to kill the Emperor. Can you let us in, please? You keep that up, Rakash, and you'll regret it. Okay, okay. Right now, I think we should go to my place in the shanty town. It's not far. It's an old tower I'm sharing with some... allies. They'll help us get past the wall. Well, under it, seeing as above it isn't possible. I don't really have a choice, do I? After you. This should be easy, right? See? I wasn't bullshitting. They even closed up here. Wait for me. There's a passage just over there. I'll go and open the door. Ah, classic of this time. Single player games where you got two individuals, one who can do certain things, one who can do others. Okay. Yep. Narrow passages. Steaks can make his way through cramped spaces and reach areas can't get to. So, this is the guide, just as tutorial form. Okay. And, yep, I got melee, flying daggers, quick attack. Uh, doesn't say the concent- oh, concentration I have. Armor piercing, concentration cost, quick attack, doesn't know. Yep, okay. Range combat stance, accurate through- uh, oh, is it ranged, special, and melee. So, this is my range character. Sorry, just checking that. Oh, nope. Space again. Oh. Can I do anything with barrels? Nope. All right. Can I crouch? Nope. Can't crouch. Oh, that was okay. That was rather simple. Switch active character, okay, you can, yep. So, switch. Definitely can see more as Argyle. Because he's a bit bigger. I'm sure this will be fine, I'm sure there's no enemies up ahead. Dumb humans. Oh, great. Just got some nice genocide going on. Call that patrolling, scumbags? Get those feet moving. I want to hear the sound of your boots, or there won't just be wood on the fire the next time you take ten. Yeah, great. So some old oh, tower we have shit. to get to. We can't go that way. What? Because of those four runts? Look, if we start beating everyone up, we'll never get out of here. Especially seeing as how they just got told off. If we get involved in that, the entire place will be all over our asses. You're scared. Yeah, I'm shaking like a leaf. Seriously, what did I tell you before? You gotta be discreet, like subtle. You can't just go wading in like a pig that sees a pile of shit. <laughs> We should go around. We can go down that alleyway over there. Because there's no militia over there? There'll be a lot less of them. We should be able to handle them my way. Quietly. Ah, quietly. Let's see what this stealth shit's going on. Okay. Okay, just...
special throw goblin. Okay. I guess. Okay, never mind. Damage 500%, type of impact, heavy champ stun 100%, raise ally, restore life points. Okay, cool. And stealth stand. Oh. When not in game. Yeah. Oh, okay, so we're not, when not in combat. Press shift and. Oh, I can just use shift to do that. Okay, well, now for the future. Okay. Oh, and I'll also go back into it immediately. Nice. Okay, so another guard up there. Easy peasy. This is actually... With how clunky the, like, turn-based combat is normally in this game, this stealthy shit is a lot... Um, it's a lot smoother than, you th than I thought it would be. And that's nice to see. Especially seeing as how I think the majority of this game will be stealth. Oh, there we go. Just, just die right human scum okay we're using the same animation but maybe it's different from enemy types all right is that it I can either guide him or betray him but I can't just leave the big guy on his own I should go get him can I just yep I can just switch to him okay That's nice. Shit. I don't think I can do this on my own after all. You wanted militia? You got militia. Whatever. Enough talk. Let's get this over with. Try not to shout too loud and we'll be fine. <laughs> I don't need to shout to take out those damn... Those dams. Uh, can I switch? Because I... Yeah, let's get this started. This combat. Okay, let's see how this goes. Alert! Two arms! Attack. Oh, no, I want to try... That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. And then... Throw Goblin. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just hilarious. And you... Just a bunch of quick attacks. Okay. This works a lot better once you have both of them. Okay, nice. I like this. Level... Oh, okay. So, attribute points. You can upgrade your character... You can upgrade the characteristics of your two characters in the attribute page of your menu, which can be accessed by pressing C. The skills screen. Keiki lets you upgrade or unlock new skills. Okay. You gain new points to assign with each level. Learn and upgrade these skills. Best step is your play style. Okay. So, let's go skill points. So... How many do I have? I have one. Uh, so agility or mind. Let's do, let's do, actually no, let's do mind. That'll keep his mind and agility similar. Okay, cool. And then his skills. Oh, yes, confirm. Let's go to uh, special skills. Okay. Oh, yes, definitely, definitely. So I can only level up certain ones per level, it seems. Yeah, because, like, I can't level this up. Yeah, level three required. Okay. Very much so. Okay, yeah, no, I definitely want the stealth stance upgrade. Mm, okay, this is very RPG. So select the stealth upgrade so I can move faster or I can allow a character to get him closer without being detected. Let's go with faster because that, yeah, that'll, he was going a little slow. Okay, Argyle, Argyle, down here. Uh, special skills, none. Uh, can't upgrade. Cannot upgrade anything. Okay. I like my defensive stance, so back and forth. Fast attack that interrupts knocks back target. Damage. Number plus three. Striking force, five, 500%. Ooh! This is what I want. Yeah, because, yes. Yes, I definitely want that. So, threat, a little AoE, and his attributes. 
Uh, let's see. Strength is damage and striking force stamina. That's my HP. Mm, let me just bring mind up. Yeah, let me bring mind up. And then from then on, I'll focus on stamina mostly and then strength uh, will be the other one. Cool, cool. Uh, yes, confirm changes. All right, that was simple. Uh, switch back to you, Argyle. Oh, is that somebody? No, it's just a leaf. So what do we got now? Just a dead end over here? Yeah, just a loop-de-loop -loop dead end. Okay, although can he... No, it's just a piece of wood. All right, dead end, whatever. I should probably have this, yeah, stealthy boy going in the front. Steaks. Let's go. Steaks. Saving content. That's. Oh! All right, Arco. Two arms! Let's do taunt, followed by. Hmm. Stunning punch, then followed by a bunch of those. Okay, let's see how your range. Oh, no. Yep. How your range works. Okay. Let's pick this bad boy here. Throw knife. Damage. Low blow. Okay. Concentration. Strike force. And pushes them back. Accurate throw. Okay. Let's see an accurate. And then do a bunch of knife throws. I guess I have unlimited knives. Yeah, I have unlimited knives. Oh, okay. So it interrupts you. And let's see what this does. Uh, Steaks. Okay, whatever. Throw Goblin, raise ally, stealth stance. Uh, no. Oh, so low blow is in the range. Okay. Okay, you're not doing too well. Let's do, uh, hmm. I don't want to rage, so let's rage release and then just keep going that. And then you, buddy, are going to need to... I guess I can't do it then until he drops. Alright, now that he's down, I guess I can... Oh no, this isn't going well. <laughs> Not going well. Oh, okay. Can I, I can only do it once, okay. Then let's see if I can go into stealth stance. So, out of combat, you kind of just regen HP, so I should just kind of... Yeah, you, you chill there. Let me see if I can stealthily kill you. And I wonder if there's a distance. He just stays back there when I see him. Mm. Okay. And just leave without the big guy. You Seems about like that him. far. All I right. better go get him. So, yeah, not long at all for your HP to regen. Okay. This very much seems like I'll probably... I'll, I'll play the... Oh, shucks. Hmm, they're all out tonight. The orc with them's called Sork. He's about as straight as a pubic hair, and loves kissing his boss's ass. Damn traitor, I'll tear him to pieces. You'll get more than you can handle if you start that. Anyway, no point raising a sweat over him. Just slip his boss a present, and he'll leave us alone, like a good little dog. But... Can you pretend to be a slave? Do you think I'm gonna kiss ass in front of a Khorasan? Or even worse, in front of a Rakash? 
Look, I know you don't like the idea, but if it means staying out of the fight... All right, forget it. We'll make as if you're my bodyguard, but keep your mouth shut. Whatever happens, you got that? Yeah, got it. So, Sticks, got a new boyfriend? From the size of him, you gotta be feeling a little sore, right? <laughs> oh yeah, that's why I'm walking funny. And you're so in love you forgot about the curfew, right? Listen, I had a few troubles lately, which is why I got muscles here. And I'm outside right now. So, can't you just say you never saw me? You know, things have changed some. The Inquisitors are really interested in guys like you. Give me a reason not to call. How about because you got something on the books with Sarkis that I could take care of? <laughs> well, if you put it that way, works for me. Didn't see you. Come on, boys, let's move on! <laughs> Debtors. Rackash bodyguard. Never heard of anybody so pathetic you take that kind of contract. You're either really desperate or a serious piece of shit. RPG. You know, your dog there isn't exactly well-trained. Thinks he owns the place. Why would you let scum like that fuck up your business? <laughs> he didn't say nothing. That's what dogs are like, and you should know. When they meet another one, they gotta sniff each other's butts and growl. Just whack them one and they'll learn their place. <laughs> Seeing as you feel like growling, you can stand guard here, while we go somewhere warm. You'll pay for this, you son of a bitch! I'll get you someday! Oh shit, what the... Oh shit, shit! I can't believe it! Help! Fuck! A bloodshot! Help! Ah. Coward. Well, we got rid of a lot of them. Actually, no, no, no. Taunt. That was pretty simple Great. and quick. Forgot about that freaking tattoo. Any loot? No, we don't get any loot. Uh, where are we going? <laughs> map. Let me pull up map. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is rather larger than I thought. That's awesome. And nothing in there. Okay. Oh shit! You had to let that scum see your tattoo. Don't you think you could have maybe hidden it, huh? No. I did what you said, and that's already enough. You're a guide. You're being paid to get me across. That's it. Yeah, but that's no reason to make everything harder than it already is. Now everyone's gonna be all over our asses. The place will be crawling with them. Looking after this kind of stuff is your job. You're not taking a kitten out for a walk, you know. I know. Believe me. I know. A blood jaw. I don't think you realize just how much you scare these bastards. They'll do anything to get you, and fast. So what next? We go to my hideout in the tower, and now... Oh, open. Okay, you can... Okay, you can assign skills to 0 through 9. Anytime via the skill screen. Okay, cool. So, that'll... Yeah. 
if yeah, I'll probably if I get into playing this game more, I'll deal with that. I don't. Y'all need to watch and sit me, watch me sit there and assign key strokes. I'm gonna ignore. Actually, what's how bad could it be? Wait for me here. It's a little shortcut. I probably have to do it anyway, right? <laughs> gotta be. It's gotta be loot, right? It's loot. Okay, Johan. Each character's weapons and equipment. Okay. So Johan bark. <laughs> Throat slitters. Nice. Survivor leather. Survivor gloves. Survivor's legs. Johan bark. So it's a charm. Is it equipped? Okay. Now it's man. Actually, that increases my HP. My stamina and my HP. So I want to give that to. I guess I can't give it to him because I'm not with, with him right now, but Arc I'll do that. Is that all I can do here? I think that's it. Yeah, okay, that's it. Alright. So yeah, doing little shortcuts and checking out the whole map, always worth it. Alright. Oh yeah, it's just as fast to stealth now as it is to not stealth. Jesus Christ, can I... House? Okay, yeah. How stealth am I, really? Okay, so they do full-on patrols. It's not just... Ah, shit. Okay. Ugh. I wish you could queue up more than four attacks, but whatever. Can I... Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, so I guess they're enemy, uh, or character specific. Hmm. There's no way to heal. Throw goblin, raise ally. No. Okay, so no way to heal currently, which looks like it's going to be an issue for me. how much range there is on this. Not doing good, <laughs> I'll say that. Might be about to get our asses killed here with no sort of healing. Yep. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see, load latest save game where that was. So definitely full on stealth. Aww. Wait for me here. Yeah, let me get that Johan bark. And let me see if I can equip it to Argyle. Yahimbi. Yahimbi Bark. Yohimbi. I don't know. I wonder how they don't. Okay. No questions asked. Some questions asked. It's fine. Okay. He just jumps to here. Alright, whatever. Inventory. Can I. Argyle. Okay, no. So. It seems like their equipment is specific. And it doesn't show up anywhere on him. Okay, whatever. 
Alright, let's see what we can do. Nothing down there other than enemies. More loot. Light greaves, whatever the hell that means. Oh, just wall there. Okay. Okay. You're not. You're totally coming here. Okay. Let's see how far freaking away from the mine get. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Alright. This might be a rinse and repeat as I drag all the way back to Argyle. a little bit better so far. Low blow, followed by... Hmm. Yeah. Oh, nope. Just a bunch of knife throws down. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can knock this guy out. I doubt it, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, Steaks can actually kind of hold his own in melee now. What is armor piercing? Armor piercing. Daggers. Stab, stab. Okay. A little bit better that time. That's good. Yeah, definitely gotta go to each of their strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Gonna be quiet. Don't need to go down there. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. Pants. So they're worse. Survivor's leggings. Two damage reduction, two stability. They look different. <laughs> oh, wait, my dodge is better. I don't know what the hell that does. Let's see. I doubt it'll work on Argyle, right? Yep. Okay, so they're completely different. Uh. No, it's less damage reduction for more stability. I'm not going to use it. I'd rather have my damage reduction and my dodge up. Okay. What do we got up here? Oh. Can we kill him? We can kill him. Alright. Another Humi dead. So, there's three of you? Just three. I'm going to go there. Just three of you. Okay. Uno mas, right? Oh, nope. Two patrol guys coming this way. Okay. All right. Oh, it's a full patrol, actually. Four, at least. Dang. Uh, how far are they coming? Zarka is back here, yeah. He's got a lantern on him, and we're trying to be stealthy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, well. Okay. It is just two of them, actually. I thought it was four. I was about to say, if I can get you while you're marching, because God bless 2012 video game stealth mechanics, apparently they don't check for the d bodies, which are persistent, like, there's the body's still there, it's just 
They apparently do not care, which I'm cool with. Oh my god, this haze. Oh, there is more of them. They must both loop different ways then. All right. So yeah, very RPG. Very much, yeah, stealth and take them out or don't. Okay, I see. That's where they loop around. All right. And then I can stealth and get him. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, this faster movement was definitely worth the investment then. Oh, gosh. Hey, there's only one of them, though. specials. Throw goblin. Okay. Let's stun. Let's see if he will auto move over here with that. Oh yeah, he will. Nice. Okay, cool. That's the way to do it then. Stealth as many as you can and get Ar uh, Argyle to roll on in. When I stealth, yeah, when I stealth, he stops following me, but when I'm unstealth, he'll follow me. Okay, cool. That way I can stop from... Come on, how much further? Oh, we're... I say we're right here, but it's there, and we have this big old loop to do. Okay. Very linear, this game, but... Stealth. Oh my gosh, these doors so much look like I should just be able to go in them, but I can't. Okay, got some militia... It should be fine, right? Oh, we alerted all three of them. Alright, back to Argyle. Does he come running? He doesn't come running. He does not come running when I get into combat. He does not care. Okay. Let's do... And then you, buddy. Punch. Cut, cut, cut. Then that. Jump. Cut up a bunch. You, buddy. Done with ranged. Oh, I have no concentration. No, I want. Sorry. Are we taunting yet? Oh, yeah, he did taunt. Alright. A little weird on walls, but you know, whatever. All right, one left. Let's just cut him up. Good old fashioned slice and dice murder. And there we go, another level. Okay. So, stabi oh, stability. Resistance to enemy strike power reduces the risk of having an action interrupted. Okay. So, poise. <laughs> Um, I said, sorry, I'm just gonna, I like even numbers, and then we'll just focus on agility and, uh, uh, mind after that, probably. Yes, skills, uh, special, nothing special I can get. I'm using quick attack a lot. So, every chance, every hit has a 25% chance of, oh! Vulnerability or critical chance of 50% chance of causing, uh, no, let's go with the every hit then. Yeah. And then, Archive. Mmm. Inflicts bleeding on any enemy infected by vulnerable. Okay. Increases stability 100% during the attack. Okay. Or. Oh. Let's do that. Yes. I didn't know you could. Okay, actually. No, because I'm not using that a lot. I'm trying to use this. Chance deflecting increases. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yes. Tanky, tanky. And then your attributes. So, stamina is his life points, which he needs more of, but strength, okay. He's doing plenty of damage, he just needs more health right now. And armor, but apparently no armor yet. Okay. That's fine. It's a very RPG-like. Alright. Oh, I thought I... I think it's just... right? Yeah. Yeah, I already up Yeah, I already upgraded. <laughs> Stupid game. Okay. Let's see what else we got, since we're so close to my tower. Right? Ugh, oh, so close. Ooh, 
No resistance so far. So that's always a good sign, so at least... Oh, nope, cutscene. Ah! The bloodshot! That's him! Get him! Quick! Yeah, this is going badly. Crossbows. Shit. Gonna let me fight this, or... Okay, that's what I thought. Alright. Mm. Throw me. And then I will... Take him out, and then you just do talk after that. I really need to take him on, don't I? Oh my gosh. It's so blindingly white at times. going well now, now that I know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Uh, let's try and take him out. Mm, it's gonna be a lot, isn't he? Okay, in that case, you need to focus on them, and you, I guess, stun them as much as you can, and then go back to attacking him. needs to focus all his attacks on him then. Not going well. Not going well. Get another one of those and build that up. Okay. Okay. Can I not? Why can't I do that? The whole restoring ally thing does not seem to be exactly great. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna, yeah, keep stunning him. Oh, okay. So, okay, I got his weapon. So, Splicer's five damage. Blood splattering cudgel. Five damage, striking force and deflection. So we're definitely gonna get that, and it helps me play a defensive character. Good, and now that I'm thinking about it, what was it, Greaves? Oh yeah, the light Greaves are better. They give me, okay, stupid. It's just weird how it shows you the thing you're going to equip to at the top and what you have equipped at the bottom. So, okay, whatever. All right, that's fine. <laughs> Open. Sacrificial daggers. So, Seeks has throat slitters. Three damage, five dodge. Oh, okay. Sacrificial daggers. So, yeah, I want that because that'll. that's the first thing that'll allow me to heal. Okay. All right, Steve, let's go. Nothing in the well, apparently. My tower should be really nearby, right? Oh, it's right here. We'll get into the tower, and... Oh, gosh. Just have that... Just super effective... We're cudgel. almost safe. My hideout is right behind there. All good, right? All good. Okay.
Much beloved by much beloved of the people, the Order of Mages is merely tolerated by the Inquisition, which casts a dark regard. Peace okay. and quiet. Finally. This is my hideout. It's a tower. It's a ruined tower. We can take it easy here. The members of the Black Hand don't want to get caught by the militia either. That's Fox. She's got eyes and ears everywhere. And believe me, it comes in handy. That's Spearhead. A true fucking master with a medal. You might want to go see him. Just your dick and a knife won't be enough on the other side. <laughs> That's the last in the corner. He's the last survivor of his tribe. Pretty damn tough, if you ask me. You got lots in common. Maybe you should try and bring him into your knitting circle. And up there, that's Monkey. He's the boss here. We'll say hi to him just to stay on his good side. Hey, still alive, scumbag? Kicking and screaming! Arkai, this is the Monkey, Captain of the Black Hand. Captain? You look pretty good there, buddy. You could do wonders in the Black Hand. There's already a few of you people here, and they're pretty mm. impressive. But a blood jaw. A few of you. If you ever people. want to hire on as a mercenary, you'll be more than welcome. In the meantime, dump your gear somewhere. You're among friends here. It's safe. So, what's new, monkey? We're in the middle of a storm here, buddy. And believe me, it's a big one. You know they're onto you, and those fanatics are in a frenzy. They even caught the Brotherhood of Fat Gun less than two hours ago. They killed them all. Oh, that's not good. Fat Gun owed me money. Well, I guess we'll kick back here for a while until this blows over. Ugh, you're the guide. The Goblin is right. Anyway, your business will take time. Sarkis is going to ask you for something in exchange for getting you across. He's not going to do it because he thinks you're cute. But Jarhill spoke about a caravan. Why don't we join that? The caravan is blocked on the other side of the wall. With the Inquisition here and the town locked down, nothing is like it was before. We got no choice. We have to change our plans. All right, but keep the schemes to yourself. Just do what you need to do to get me across. Fast. That's what you're getting paid for. Okay, okay. Look. We make sure we've got everything we need, and as soon as we're ready, we go see Fox, so she can get us out. Okay, so... Guess this is a bit of downtime trade time. Nice to see after... Oops, gosh! I guess there is no jump in this game. Okay. Alright, let's see... Yes, Spearhead. Hi. Welcome, Bloodjaw. Please allow me to give you this. Consider it my contribution to the mission that brings you here. What's this for? If you're here, it means there's something big in the air. And if you stay equipped like that, you won't get very far. The least I can do is give you this knick-knack. For the rest, you can trade, of course. But if you want anything really good, you'll need to fight. Uh... Fight, yeah. Fight with who? The Black Hand has a tradition, the challenge. If you beat one of us fair and square, oh, okay. he has to give you something worthy of the fight you won. You'll probably take me to pieces, but tradition is tradition. Yeah. I'll go easy on you. Nice. We're a dying race and everything, but we'll still beat the shit out of each other. Okay, yeah, so about three. 
if he actually gets stunned. Sometimes he doesn't. Ah, oh, damage bonus. Okay. Ugh. Damn stun resistor. Okay, fine. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Okay, so... Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, when all else fails, just try and get myself into a rage. Not going well, is it? Okay. Game's solidly difficult on the medium difficulty. I like it. You shouldn't have held back. I may be old, but I can still take it. And in challenges, no mercy. Come on. Now you know. Next time, give it everything. Let me know when you want to try again. Okay. Oh, you cool. need me? Cool old fight club going on here. All right. Yeah, let's see what trade does because. Oh. Uh. Yes, trade. So, shadow blades. Can I just sell those? Oh. Oh, sorry. Sell. Throat slitters. I can sell. What else? I got pants to sell. Yes, okay. It's all, and I can upgrade, of course, so... Oh, hold on. So it costs something to upgrade, so buy. If I can buy what I sold. Throat slitter. Oh, oh, shadow blades. So just upgrade, okay. Um, Let's actually see what Argyle's got, because Argyle's the one who needs more, you know, actual defensive shit. Uh, okay, yeah, he ain't got... Okay, he's going to definitely use that stability then. Uh, War Axe. No, I want more deflection. No, no. Oh. Mm. That's actually worse. Duh. Okay. Agility or stamina. I'm gonna... Wait. Stamina increases my health. Yes. And then I can sell... Seawater Crystal. Okay. Um, Anything else? No. Let me equip stuff and then see. I only have one trade point, so. Uh, leave. Inventory. Argyle, what do you got? Breath of the Earth, Mother. So. Yeah, 400 health. And Steaks, what do you got? 240? Okay. Let's see what the other people here got. Oh, the last. Greetings. So, you're the blood draw. That's me. What did you do to end up here? Who did you kill? Hey guys, relax. It's not the time. Drop it, our guy. Okay, so I can just challenge or leave. <laughs> it's a well-written character right there, I guess. Uh, that's the fox. So we're not going to speak to the fox because I feel like that'll move us onward. Uh, let's check out what me? upgrading does. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, what the hell are you doing? What tribe are you from? How did you end up in this hole? I was in the Lands of Ashes tribe. Then one day I was captured by the Quarsan while I was away and on my own. They were going to take me to the wall. I probably would have been made to work on it and ended up underneath it like so many of my brethren. But Monkey attacked the caravan that was transporting us. He had a score to settle with the slavers. So I joined the Black Hand. When the decree about the orcs came down, we were made outlaws. But Monkey still wanted me to stay. My knowledge of smithcraft makes me irreplaceable here. My smithcraft has gotten the band out of bad situations lots of times. Uh, yeah, let's trade. See what upgrading does. Um, Argyle. Upgrade. So, oh wait, no, I can sell his slicer too. Yes, and that's it, right? 
Yeah, that's it. Okay, so upgrade. I can only upgrade equipment. Let me see what upgrading this will do. Oh, wait, sorry. Three damage reduction, three stability. And upgrading it. Oh, okay. Seven. Okay, cool. And can I upgrade? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay, and it just has an upgraded icon on it. All right, that's cool. Great, great, great. Anything else? This seems like it'd be an... It's a very interesting RPG. Um, Yeah. I'm going to leave it here for now, though. I mean, it looks great for a game from 2012. Doesn't look horrible. No great game-breaking bugs. Pretty linear. Okay. I'm not going to mess around with that. But pretty linear stealth and uh, turn-based uh, RPG fighter. Seems great. Uh, if you want to check it out, feel free. Uh, yeah, runs fine this whole time. Haven't had any frame issues. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to leave it right here. Thank you for watching. Feel free to do all the stuff. I have been a formal bust. As always, take care and drink some H2O.